I'm not a nutritionist or anything, but I hope to be. Honestly, I'm planning on it because I know that will help me in the long run and I want to help other people. So I'm not sure of when and where I'm going to be able to become a nutritionist, but I'm planning on it. Just to let you know. But so I've done a lot of research, but I'm not a professional or nothing. So yeah, these are just advice that have helped me and things I have I have heard from others. So I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching. And I know this is going to be pretty random, but this is, this is, you know, got to do what you got to do. So I've been eating cantaloupe melon, for those of you Spanish watchers. Um, and I love this baby so much because, you know, um, cantaloupe doesn't retain, retain as much water as watermelon or as other fruits that we tend to eat sometimes. And I know it's not as bad as eating other fruits, but if you're going to choose to eat fruit, then try to eat the most, most healthier ones. I can say that cantaloupe is one of them because, again, it, you don't retain water. And it's sweet, so instead of picking chocolate or something sweet, you can just go ahead and grab some of these four or five pieces um, as a snack. And it will just fill you up and make you feel energized and good. Now when it comes to bread, I'm Hispanic. I love my tortilla de harina. I love my tortillas. Or any type of bread, pan dulce and all that, um, which is just Mexican bread. And if I have to go for bread, I go for this one, which is the whole grain oatmeal, 100%. Um, and it's 8 grams of fiber. It has 8 grams of fiber, and it's 100 calories a piece. And I know it may seem like a lot just for one piece, but I usually do this for breakfast. And for breakfast, I try to maintain a three to 400 calorie uh, breakfast meal. And it usually includes egg whites, two egg whites, maybe one of these if I'm filling it that day. Like I said, I don't eat this every day, but when I want to grab bread or something, I tend to go for this instead of eating and other types of breads. Whole wheat breads are good too, but I prefer eating whole grain. I just feels like it works better for my digestive system personally, but it just works in your personal opinion and whatever works best for you, but I have been going to this. This is vanilla. Um, this is the Mexican vanilla blend, and you can get this at any of your local pharmacies. I get mine at Walmart, and well, I've got mine at Walmart. And I use these for when I make smoothies or shakes. Now, when I'm talking about smoothies or shakes, I'm not talking about ice cream and none of that good stuff that I love, and I'm sure you love too. I'm talking about when I want to mix yogurts and fruits, when I'm feeling um, kind of weak and I'm about to go work out and I don't have that much energy, I tend to go for a, a smoothie or a shake and I mix a lot of fruits, bananas, uh, strawberries, mangoes, some a little bit of mangoes, a little bit of everything basically and then just to add that extra sugar I add a, just a little sprinkle bit of it probably half or a, a one tablespoon at, mo at most if I'm just doing it for myself but sometimes if I do it for my family then I will add more whatever is needed but you just need a little bit the good fats avocado I could eat this all day I could eat it by itself with anything it's just I love it and I usually do, one of my favorites is to do two to three egg whites, probably two um, on a day um, before school or something since I do go to school at eight in the morning and I go for these, I cut like three or four slices with my two egg whites, then I get some turkey bacon, um, just a slice of turkey bacon or one of those um, whole grain breads and that fills me up and I feel good and energized and I have my good fat. These are live. Teas are supposed to be your bae. 
go for these if you're feeling weak and you don't have energy or you just want to relax if you just want to relax then go ahead and grab for any type of tea now these are just some of things the teas that I've been trying I know this is really popular because of Starbucks and all that and um, I was hearing a lot of commotion about it so I wanted to go ahead and buy some and try it out and I've tried it once and it's pretty good you know it has caffeine in it so I don't tend to go for it at nighttime usually more in the mornings before a workout because I don't like to drink protein I just in my opinion I feel like it bloats me up more and I just don't feel comfortable taking protein or any of that good stuff and I just go for it and black tea I use it sometimes when I just wanna I have like some stress going on or just you know those little moments that you don't have energy or you've actually just came back from working out and you just want to relax I tend to go for one of these and it, it doesn't taste the best in the world but I had a couple bits of honey and it just takes test tastes perfect for me so it's pretty good and they won't ever hurt you so remember when I was talking about the yogurt so I do like to use this probiotic drinkable low-fat yogurt and strawberry and banana now I know you it's gonna be too much if I add strawberries and bananas but instead of adding milk or anything like that um, or ice cream or something and I'm just really feeling just something extra sweet and I don't want to go for that ice cream because again ice cream is one of my weaknesses along with chips so I just add maybe a little bit of this and then I add the fruit so I would usually do this and then mango, pineapple, uh, cucumbers, and then add some of that vanilla and just mix it all together in my blender. Another thing is this. Uh, my boyfriend and I have been doing meal plans, and we love to do this. We do, um, well, for both of us, you know, we do two packages, and then I get, I get apples. I cut them up in little pieces, and I get celery, which is ajo. And I cut them up together, and then I add one jalapeno, but I cut it in pieces as well. And I just mix them all together. And to add just that extra, extra flavor, I do light mayonnaise. And I know mayonnaise isn't the healthy, healthiest thing, but I do light, which is like 40 to 45 calories less. And hey, that makes a difference. So we mix it together, and then we either eat it with whole grain crackers or toast, toasted whole grain or whole wheat bread. And it tastes amazing, plus tuna is good for you. But, um, but I do think these are better than the ones in the cans because, you know, the canned food is a higher chance of getting cancer. So that you know if you didn't know that. Just fruits, uh, peaches and plums, I love them. If I'm feeling, if I want a snack or something, then I will just go towards a fruit. Honestly, fruits and vegetables have been my go-tos and I love them. So last but not least, the thing that... I feel like has changed my life, changed the way I feel, has helped me with mostly everything is baby daddy right here. This is my Sancho. This is Bay. Mm, I just water. Water, 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 water. Seven to eight glasses of water, depending on your weight and also, so you have to look at that stuff too, because you don't want to retain water in yourself. But it's always good to have more. But more no um, que sobre than you don't have enough water in your system. So I used to hate water and actually probably still do low key. But I love it because I know it's good for me and it has um, helped me with you know with everything my immune system, my digestive system, everything. Um, you know I do go to the restroom a lot of times, especially during school. I'm not going to say I don't have my cheat meals because I do, um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but just being Mexican and us in the Hispanic culture, we just love all that good stuff and menudo and pozole and harina and oh, just everything that's so good. And I'm not going to, you know, hurt myself or kill myself and not have any of that. I, mean, I, want, I want to be happy and I know that if I eat, a cheat meal every once in a while I'm not gonna kill myself if you're bad about it because I do work out five to six times a week two times a day to one times a day depending on how I feel and depending of the weather and how I can but I try not to make excuses because my dad has um, uh, bought a lot of equipment here at my house um, and I do want to upload a video of my workout soon and if you follow my Instagram you can check I do 
post some sometimes with my boyfriend and I or just me by myself um, so yeah this is a work in progress for me and I hope that people just get encouraged and sometimes you feel like you're stressed out or you feel like things aren't going the right way for you maybe it's just the way you feel about yourself and I think that's the number one key in life if you love yourself and you feel comfortable in your own skin and are proud of yourself then you're just gonna be happy it's gonna be things are gonna be harder like it's gonna be harder for you to get down and stressed out when you when you look good and you feel good about yourself you know and I'm, ta I'm not talking about being skinny I'm not talking about um, people that are are trying to gain weight or lose weight I'm just talking about necessarily just being comfortable in your own skin if you know you can pro you can there's some progress that can happen in your life and in yourself then make it happen you know why are you gonna wait and it's never too late you know my so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and it has helped you in some shape or form